Hello everyone, welcome back to a new episode of After Image. Last time we left off, we were here in the Sunken Sanctum, but there's something else I didn't do in the Holy Grounds up here. I remember I wanted to follow up on this. It might be what unlocks all of these doors. Um, so obviously I want to go ahead and tackle that. Ooh, it actually would have been easier to come up from down here. Oh, I just wasted a resting potion. I was thinking that way would be faster, but I forgot that there's a... Uh, a blockage right there, but whatever. Resting potions come very easily and go very easily. I will take the 60 extra seconds of my life back over the dues that I get from it. I have more than enough dues, so... Alright, so... Let's go back up the elevator and see what we got up here. Yeah. There were a few things going on. It feels like we're kind of approaching the end of the game here. Stuff's feeling like it's starting to get pretty final. So, we will see if that is actually the case or not. I'm excited. Hello, book. Die, book. Was that another animagram? Wish I could, like, sell those things. Can't You can't sell weapons, right? I don't think you can. Okay, there's that thing. So, can I get up there? I can, from right here. I just want to get up here and see what I walked past last time. So, ow, that is just a door that's blocked. Don't suppose there's like a lever here or anything that will... No? Okay, there's a treasure chest and there's that. Okay, so, yeah, whatever this is, this is not what was needed to actually get through here. Well, regardless, I don't think I was planning to do the Sunken Sanctum today anyway. I wanted to uh, check out some of the other stuff around. So uh, we'll come back to the Sunken Sanctum though. We will, uh, we will certainly come back. Holy Grounds, does it connect to... Oh wow, it seems like it does. Connects right to the frozen veins, huh? I don't think I can- I don't think I can get down there still. I think that way is still blocked. I just need to find whatever it is that's locking all of these things. I must have- I may have missed a lever in here or something somewhere. Maybe at some point I'll do like another full run through of this place to see what I may be missing there. But uh, we got- we got swimming to do, so I'm gonna peruse these areas and see if there's any swimming that I can get into. Alright, here's one chest and some water. A mysterious balm hanging out over here on the resting path. Okay, uh, I had this area marked over here in the resting path. Which, it seemed like we just needed wall jump to actually get up there, so... Another Saw coin. I should probably go check back in uh, with Saw this episode as well. Hey Saw, I have coins. I'm sleeping now! Excuse me, I wish- So, it's really just one more talent essence, huh? And that's it? I've completely exhausted everything you have? Why are there so many extra coins then? I'm sleeping now. Let's not dis hmm. There's so many extra coins, but I've already gotten everything from you. That was it. I thought maybe you would replenish your stock or something. Maybe you still will at some point. Maybe I just haven't gotten there yet. There's also a little something like down here. I have it blocked off, so it's probably one of those red barrier doors. Yeah. All right. Well. All right, so over here in the town of the Exiled, we can now get through this place, which allows me to access what exactly? I do not know, but probably a pretty good item. Um, our friend that rewards me for having uh, all the weapons is here as well. Oh, what am I doing? I need to, I need to um, do a slide to get through here. Okay. Then drop, 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 drop. God, who created this spike area? Somebody really likes spikes. There we go. What you got for me? Blade of Lost. What do you look like? Carefully forged weapon was once treasurer of a tribe that practiced blade skills. After the raising, the tribe was nearly wiped out and the weapon was then lost. Yeah, I mean, it is what it says on the tin. All right, well, uh, that's cool. Two more things cleared out there. All right, and here we are back at more water. Once again in uh, the town of the exiled. So, 
a lot of stuff in here that we needed to grab, because this is one of the areas I just haven't returned to in quite a while. Besides to see some characters, I suppose. So there was nothing in that room. I'm guessing this loops back around over to here. And will let me out there. I'm assuming. That is the case. Hello, friend. Hey, all these enemies disappear and then reappear. Makes them annoying to fight. Just appear and let me kill you. Okay, this leads to the optional stuff. Good. Uh, this is unfortunate for you, friend. You are not going to be living very long. Is there even anything at this tree? Okay, you're a bit more difficult because, yeah, you're the one I have my daggers from. Okay, I was wondering when this was going to get, like, actually difficult here. Ooh. There we go. Oh my god, you got HP, friend. Jeez, okay. A talent essence. What else do I get? Space block? Slightly increases the invincible time after taking damage. Ooh, that's pretty good. That's always a good one. And a rune gem. What is a rune gem? Is that just something to sell? There's nothing here. Rune gem, yeah. A gem that seems to be the core of runic guardians, glowing quietly with a green light. Some claim that the runic guardian is an experiment used by the Institute of Spirit to test combat effectiveness. However, its ancient gems and modeled marks contradict this flawed argument. Okay. Well, that was cool. I always like getting more levels, so... I will take it. Now, where are we going, though? Whew. We're good. Uh, oof. Don't know how I'm gonna get up there. If that enemy had been here, maybe, but... Yeah, I don't think that's happening. I'm gonna need to be able to jump a little bit higher before I can do that. Okay, well, we can also get rid of this. I can probably get up there now. Okay, well, that's that's most of the stuff taken care of there that I wanted to do. We could go check back in with you, but it can wait. It's fine. Okay, back to the Sunken Sanctum. Um, we I looked around the map. That's most of the, the stuff I wanted to check, and I do still need to actually get, like, footage for a video. I just wanted to run around and do a little bit of collecting there. So, uh, what do we got here? Don't really care about those at all. Dash distance and rare drop rate would be a nice. So with that. Wasn't there more stuff down here? Max MP, animo damage. Critical rate, yes, please. Stir of wisdom. I'll get MP. Alrighty. Cool. So let's continue. See what else we can uh, get ourselves into down here. This is a wholly new area, after all. I can't hurt them. You know, I really shouldn't even have to be in the field for the lightning to hurt me from these things. It should just hurt me in general being in the water, yeah? That's how I've always learned it. Oh my god, I'm really bad at timing this. Every single time I'm like, it's gone, I can go. Ugh. Okay, be a little bit safer, why don't we? I was really, really awful at that. God, this music here is phenomenal. So if you do touch them, even when they're not electrified, they still get you. Okay, so I do need to go this way. Yeah, this music is quite good. Quite some good music. Ooh, that's tight. Oh my god. Okay, we made it though. Moonshadow robe. Moonshadow elf robe, yay. Main weapon attack, defense up. Dark robe decorated with purple stripes. The wearer can hide their body better in the shadows. God needs believers of innocence, but also knives of chaos. This was their stubborn belief, but God might not deny it altogether. Okay, 
Cool. And... What else do we got going on here? This just looks like more of those to evade. Are there even going to be enemies here, or just these things? Oh god. <laughs> that was scary. Okay, it's fine. We can just dash under that. This looks like... Okay, I thought that was going to be like one of those challenge rooms. At least it'll be very, very easy to map out this entire place since I can just jump as high as I want. It'll make my life a lot easier. Let's just go ahead and drop a heal, why don't we? Okay, we're safe here. Yeah, I think this area is mostly just filled with traps. Which can be annoying and difficult to traverse, but it's also not enemies, so it's really not that bad. Dash, dash, dash. Mask of Asus. Okay, what are you? Uh, is that over here? It is. Subweapon attack and subweapon damage. MP cost plus five, though. Mask once worn by the Archpriest. People believe that she had superior insight and wisdom. Driven by magic, it greatly increased the power of spells. After the raising, Beings has been on the decline. The Archpriest, once at the highest position, is now nowhere to be found. Get me out of there. Thank you. Okay. Scary. Alright, we're fine. There's that little area over there I haven't exactly verified, but it's totally fine. Now we're out of water, right? We are out of the water. Okay. So what does this do for me? Where does this take me? Hello? This hmm. tunnel winds deep. That it does. I never expect we'd be led to the God's Hall from the Hall of the Institute of Consciousness. The God's Hall? <laughs> wow. Still can't believe you guys gave this place a name like that. It said that this was where God created in Garden. What they said was all true. This was indeed the place where Luca created life for the first time. As well as where she flooded the whole of End Garden with a great and terrible flood. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Uh, someone in the comments did mention uh, it, one one thing that I did not think about. Um, Ig could be Ignis, which is like Latin for uh, fire, I believe. Um, so yeah, that's definitely, definitely what your name could possibly be. If we are leaning into the fire thing that I thought. So that is a very good point. Ignis is probably what it is. Video games do love their, uh, do love their Latin for naming things, so... That would certainly make sense. A resting potion. Thank you. Okay. Wait, it says that... Okay, no. I, th I thought it said that continued, but no, it, it actually ends there, but there is something on the other side. The facilities here are more elegant than what we spied up there. It seems like humans were copycats. Mimicking a lot from those kittens. These facilities. And Garden Raised, what are they studying? Nothing good to be sure. They're trying to recreate their own artifacts and things like that, as we've learned. Ooh, hello, treasure. So, let's try and make sure we explore as much of this as we can. This area is just massive. Like, the sense of scale here is ridiculous. It's just, the hallways are so long and the area is just so big. But once again, the music is gorgeous. Key to God's Hall. Uh-huh. What was the door I saw that was locked? So, uh, delicate key to dedicate, decorated with silver feathers. It can open the door to the primeval. Hmm. Okay. There is one more room up here that I never checked. Um, could I get back up there, please? There we go. That's one way to do it. Okay, I just wanted to check, make sure we got everything there. Okay. It was still a little bit dark, so... But that's just because I hadn't walked all the way to the other end of the room. And then, same here, I suppose? Yeah. Alrighty. 
So, drop down there. Let's see what we can do. Ooh. Oh, I didn't realize that was just going to fade. Ah, uh, blocked though. Okay, that seems like there's something very, very important in there. So where do we go from here? Just, just to the left here, that's my last possible route. Appears so, yeah. Okay. Uh, can't seem to wall jump off that. I was gonna do it to see if I could get to the top of the room, but Every, no. Do you hear any sound? I feel like this tablet here is talking to me. Not that, Re. Very few can sense the message the tablet carries. It seems like some of Luca's inspirations for Endgarden originated from the mysterious messages on the tablet as well. Interesting. Hydro, the primeval life. Okay, got another heal out of that. Um, nothing to grab up here? It doesn't seem so. I can jump to almost the end of the room, so... Oh? Hello. The giant statue over there seems like some kind of altar. But we can't reach it from here. Let's go check the other side in a moment. Interesting. There's an item, like, right here. Go check the other side. I've already checked the other side. There was nothing I could do. Because it was, uh, locked. Hmm. So we might be done here? I mean, I know after talking to the big cat that we can go to, um... What's it called? Yeah, they don't, they don't have a thing talking about that. Okay, so we're we're blocked off here. Okay. Um, there is this. Yeah, we can go this way. I never did go left last time. That, I guess that's what you meant by other side. I was thinking the other side of that room, but I forgot this area is way bigger than that room. It's a big area. Very large. Uh, this is blocked though. So, if that way doesn't open up to something, then we can't progress here. Like I said, at least I do have an idea of another place to go. Because we can go to the, the, the Geo place. The Gate of Geo. I also have this weird key. Um, which apparently opens a door. I have like one door marked on my map right now that needs to be opened. So is this a chance that it maybe opens that? Sorrow, the Divine Teardrop. Oh my god, we're getting so many more heals! Abnormal Energy Wave Detected. That was 8,000 XP. Source, Holy Grounds. Warning, there is no avoiding the oncoming impact. Survival rate, <laughs> very low percent. Okay. Extremely, extremely low percent. Gotcha. Uh... Let's see here. Okay, I can make it over there like that. Oh, what am I what am I doing? I'm underwater again. <laughs> I was out of the water for a bit, so I forgot I can just infinitely jump again. <laughs> but yeah, here we can just infinitely jump. No need to worry. Ow. Okay, at least it checkpointed me right here. I want to get over there to that uh safe spot. There we are. Good, good. Yes. Okay. Gotta get past these cu incredibly sinister cubes again. Ooh, that falls down here. Which allows me to get some talent essence. Yay. Like, just the visual of spamming the jump button like that. Just, just Renee just freaking out. Uh, that was wrong. I'm barely safe. Okay. Yeah, that was that was a rough one. Nothing through here? No. But the important thing is I can grab you. Good. So now I just go back down this way. 
And we should be good. Huh. Scary. Alright. Now this way. Okay. What do we got over here? That's a good way to kind of scoot past those things quickly if I need to vertically, I suppose. It's much easier than just spamming jump or something like that. Well, spamming jump wouldn't help me go down, but you know what I mean. It's faster than my other methods of moving quickly in the water. Here we are. Whew. This area is a little spooky at times because of all that. There's so many of those to kill you. No enemies, but those things are still spooky. Ah! Okay, so that's the key I needed to open up this place. So this is where that key goes. Cool. Well, I'm glad I chose the correct path right from the get-go. Isn't that lucky? The tunnel on this side looks much more ancient. It was born of toil from humans long gone. Dug right out of the cave wall. Look how shabby the bridges over here are. Those humans and their shabby old ruins. Okay. I like the helmets. It reminds me of uh, the helmets that like Xant uses in Twilight Princess, but also the helmet that the penitent one wears, that like kind of cone shape. All right, well, we found ourselves a big old tree. That's quite nice. So we have a we have a good teleport down here now. Don't think I'm going to be able to get up there very easily. Uh-huh. So I can just run all the way across this room. God, it's a massive room. Yeah, we'll mess with that in just a second. There's... I know there's stuff over here. So, how does this work? There's a wall right here. Okay, that works. Don't know if that was the correct way to do it, but... Casting spells when magic point is down to zero costs no magic... Wait, casting spells when your magic points are down to zero costs no magic for a certain period of time. After the effects ends, all spells will be unavailable for a certain time. Interesting. So yeah, like, even even when you run out of MP, you can still keep shooting magic for a time, but then it's like completely done for a while. Okay. Ancient device with a mysterious aura all around it. Investigate it. Vassal, you have turned away from your fate. I am the guider, and I will guide you back onto your true track. Stranger danger! Be careful, Ree! Uh-oh. So that's why it was warning me, huh? Uh... Okay. None of that, please. Uh-huh. Ow. Where are you at? Here you are. Hit you with all my magic. Okay. You're hitting an X phase? Let me go ahead and heal. Yeah, where are you? Ow. Damn it. Okay, I am out of mana. We gotta be careful there. Okay. Mm-hmm. Ow. Wonder what's the way to tell where that's happening. No. No. Ow. I tried. And then jump. 
Heal, please. Thank you. I gotta start using those. Gotta find a good time to do it. Ow. You're waiting for me to land, you bastard. Owie. Okay, fine. Oh. Okay. Yep, more of this. Owie. I am running low on heals here. It's fine. Okay. Heal. Ow. You bastard. Damn it, damn it, damn it. Oh my god, okay, I gotta jump up the wall to escape from that. I see. Ow. Let's jump. Ow. Didn't think that was gonna hit me. Close. Ooh. The moment has yet to ripen. <sighs> well, minor mistakes like this make no difference, anyways. That was clutch. <laughs> that was very clutch. Oh my god, I got super lucky. Of course, we just lose anyway, but. Ooh. That was all of my healing potions and everything. Excuse me? Was that an ending? Did I just... Did I just get a bad end? Excuse me? I think I just got a bad end. Oh my god, I did! <laughs> I just got a bad end! <laughs> okay, well, if there... If there yeah, yeah, there's definitely indication that... Okay, yeah, there's... There's, there's bad endings at play here. Okay, well there we go, we- we got a bad ending, I guess. Sword attack, bleak moon, extra crit damage. When equipped, temporarily master skill, full moon. Skill full moon will enhance when attacking with this weapon, damage is dealt in an area around the target. A long sword with a bleak shine, it's an integral... ...hole comparing to the moonlight, or to put it in a better way, this bleak moon was the origin of all the moonlights. That masked woman was the pioneer of her gorgeous and powerful sword art. But she never showed such brilliant skill outside of necessity. Hiding herself behind the dim moonlight for that she believed one day a light brighter than the sun would shine over the whole world. To achieve that, she'd do anything she could to lead the flow of the world. Okay. It seems like we got an ending. Okay, so don't come back to this place. I was wondering if that was the case when I started interacting with it and it was like, are you sure you want to do this? I was like, is it preparing me for just like a difficult boss fight or, or what have you? But it seems like... We probably need to come back to that place when we have more things, possibly all of my mask fragments and stuff like that. Um, there's also a bunch more side quests and stuff to do, so I guess we'll pick up on some of that stuff uh, next time. We still have a lot of areas left to explore and all that, so yeah. Hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for some more. Yeah.